Good afternoon. Welcome to the swearing-in ceremony for Ms. Gloria Dent, who will represent District 1 for the Board of Education of Anne Arundel County. Ms. Dent was recently elected by the Anne Arundel County Council to succeed the late Candace C.W. Antoine. Without further ado, I will now introduce Clerk of the Circuit Court, Scott Poyer, who will preside over today's ceremony. Mr. Poyer, Ms. Dent, would you please come forward? Thank you very much. And Ms. Dent, if I could ask you to step forward here. And before we begin, it is my honor to introduce some of the dignitaries and guests that we have here today. I'd like to introduce Anne Arundel County Board of Education President, Melissa Ellis. Anne Arundel County Board of Education Vice President, Dana Schalheim. Board member, Robert Silkworth. Board member, Joanna Tobin. Superintendent of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Dr. George Arlotto. The Senator, Pam Beidel. And Councilwoman, Sarah Lacey. Thank you for being here today. Is that? If I could ask you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Gloria Dent. I, Gloria Dent. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And the laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of. Execute the office of. Member, Anne Arundel County Board of Education. Member, Anne Arundel County Board of Education. According to the Constitution and laws. According to the Constitution and laws. Of this state. Of this state. Congratulations. An honor to swear you in. Thank you. And if I may ask for your signature in the Anne Arundel County Book of Attestation. The test book for Anne Arundel County goes back to 1647. Every elected and appointed member who's taken the oath of office since the 1600s. Thank you very much, an honor, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, Board of Education member Gloria Dent. So I'm not prepared to speak. No, this right is supposed to say that, right? <laughs> so first of all, thank you very much for you doing your work. You always do such a wonderful job. Uh, I do appreciate uh, what you do, mainly because um, swearing uh, the oath of office for any position that I take is important to me. It's also important to the people to know that they entrust in me uh, to carry out the duties in which they've uh, charged me with doing. And I take that oath seriously. So I appreciate you, Mr. Poirier, for being here to um, honor us with that. Uh, let me also say, first of all, that without the support of my family, uh, which is now, we call in the Dent family an army of one, uh, my husband, Kenneth, and when making a decision, we always sit down and we decide if this is the best decision for us as a family. Uh, and then always if we have time to do it, because it's not just me doing it, it's him doing it as well. And so um, we thought about this quite a long time to make the decision. So that was a delay. And people are asking, well, what took you so long? It took us long because we do have to make well thought out decisions. So I take this very serious and a privilege for me to be able to represent the 83 plus 83,000 plus students here in Anne Arundel County. So I will not do that just haphazardly. So it was very well thought out. I also appreciate what I observed last night uh, from the Board of Education uh, body, the members, your patients, uh, with knowing that you are not a figment of someone's imagination, that you are really an active board. So I appreciate just you all being here last evening, listening to the parents, listening to the students, 
listening to the customers that we know and hold dear, that this is why we do what we do. So it's not about one district. It's really about the entire Anne Arundel County. So I appreciate you all being here last night until the wee hours of the night uh, to make sure that we are doing our due diligence as board members. And I look forward to working with each one of you. To our elected officials, um, Sarah Lacey, I know that this is uh, a hit for you for Candace. I appreciate you doing your due diligence. Uh, we had some wonderful candidates. I, I would tell you, as I shared with that, there was no way that you were going to make a mistake regardless of who you chose. But I do appreciate you doing it in a solid, professional manner. And I thank you for being the person that you are because you could have been pressured into doing a whole lot of different ways. But you did it the right way. And you did it not only with class, but one way that I can walk away and say, if I wasn't selected, I knew it was done the right way. And that's a hard thing to do. So thank you very much. Uh, Senator Vital, you reached out amazingly, willing to share, just turn this position into something to make me feel like I was the queen for a day. Uh, she, you know, not only picked up the phone, text me at night, text me the next day, and said it for me. I know you are Senator and you have a million things that you could be doing. So thank you. That tells me um, not only how passionate you, that you are, but just from the day we met, you've always been genuine, and I ask that you continue that, and I will see you on 8th, right? Uh, Miss Diane, where is she? Uh, so please give me a warm applause for Diane. She is my hero. I, I'm not kidding. She is literally my hero. There's that person in the back room that does things nobody talks about. First it was uh, Miss Laura Cosby. Cosby, I don't want to mess her name up. Uh, but then... Diane steps on the scene and she just like wipes everybody. I was, and I asked her, can I get a second one of you? Is there a two part two to you? And she said she had an assistant, but it told great. And that just tells me the caliber person it is. And not only is she dedicated to that, but she likes to give credit to other people. So that's a good sign of leadership in and of itself. So thank you very much for your support throughout uh, everything. And last but not least, um, I want to say, Dr. Alato, I know we have not had a lot of conversations uh, in the past, and most of the ones that we have had have really been by email or by afar, but I do look forward to sitting down with you, figuring out how we as a team could work together and figure out some of these things that are really taxing on the school. I don't have any uh, agendas that I want to talk about. What I do want to do is have a real strong opportunity to sit down with you and the other board members before we can figure out what's our next step. So Candace meant a lot to me. I know everyone knows that. Um, and so we're not going to tear up. But Candace <laughs> meant a lot to me. Um, very personal with us to make the decision uh, about representing her on this position. That was part of my decision making. And it also meant a lot for us to let Joey know that I was the person that will replace his mom. So that was really exciting for me. So thank you all very much. I want to thank the staff and everybody that's put this together this afternoon. You guys made me feel like a movie star. And with that being said, I will tell you that if you need anything, you can reach me day or night, anytime. If you can't reach me, just call Kenneth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.